Look at this mess. It's like I'm the only person around here who cares. Cow. Cow. What? Did you leave these in the rose garden? Those aren't mine. And what about the washing up? That's not mine. Cal, the new bakers are going to be here soon. Oh, yeah, I suppose you're right. And we shouldn't let them see leftover bakes either, so why don't you have a bicky? OK. But you do need to get dressed, and we need to take out the bins, put the sugar in the jars, make the sky blue. You do know it's OK to ask for help. Like, they're not entirely useless. You can't ask the bakers for help. It's their first day. Oh, I don't mean the bakers. I mean those two. That's Rachel. You have one hour to finish your tax returns. <laughs> or to finish your bakes. Up to you. <laughs> OK, can I assemble a whole cake in an hour? How are we looking? All my chocolate is set, so I'm just hoping that everything cools down in time. How about you? Fillings are done. I'm moving on to sales. Sales? Sale, like ice malt and everything for the sides. <laughs> I've got balls going up against ice malt sales. OK, sure. Jill, I've never tried a flamingo cake before. It doesn't taste like flamingo. <laughs> OK. I wouldn't know what flamingo tastes like. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> like lamb <laughs> and a light, moist crumb. Coincidentally, I also have a light, moist crumb in my cleavage after most episodes of Bake Off. Oh, <laughs> I'm giving this more love than my own dog back home. No, I'm joking. It's a double joke. In a metal bowl, combine the egg, white sugar and cream of tartar. Whisk by hand for 30 seconds and combine well. It's going. It's going, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, God. The pina colada cake, I'm afraid, got a bit drunk and fell over. So that leaves me with the sad task of announcing who will be leaving us tonight just as we're getting to know them. Straight away, this baker gave us a feeling of home, and their warmth and humour are proof that some classics never go out of style. We are so sorry to say goodbye to Jill. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> I'm Thank sorry, you Jill. I feel great. I've had a really good time, and I actually <laughs> learned a lot from the other bakers too. Don't worry, oh, yeah. I won't be far away. <laughs> Thanks, Jill. <laughs> So sad to see Jill go because she's such a lovely personality. That's awesome. And the sharpness of the edges is really impressive. I'm speechless. <laughs> I mean, I was not expecting this. <laughs> Thank you. Loads going on in the middle there. You know, it's quite rare to find cakes that taste as good as they look but it tastes fantastic. And that chocolate crackle is still crunchy and it just brings us back to <laughs> our childhood. I, I can't fault it, I think it's fantastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what I love the most about this cake is not only the flavours with the dark chocolate, the coffee and the caramel, but you have also followed through with exciting texture. Thank you. <laughs> Molly, that is an exceptional cake. Congratulations, well done. Oh my gosh, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs>